you may find yourself asking, why? Why is our current reality crowded in low vibrational reptilian brain frequencies? If the knowledge of the amazing creative power of the limbic and neocortex sections of the brain is already out there and well known. Why? Why have we been collectively oppressed to operate within the narrow parameters of the reptilian section of the brain? My dear esteemed, most noble and honorable viewer, ask yourself about religious stories that depicted the reptilian brain influence and the importance of overcoming it in order to achieve highest vibration manifest manifestation such as love abundance etc ask yourself ask yourself about the reptilian statues and symbolism that are proudly displayed on our government buildings ask yourself about military conflicts and the reptilian based authority that browbeats the masses into low frequency acquiescence and perpetuation of such low frequency manifestation Consider which part of your brain is being triggered when you see an advertisement or a TV show or a news program. Our current world is controlled by reptilian brain dominated authority. It's in your face, y'all. You know it is. Hit that subscribe button. Leave this video a th thumbs up and understand. Understand that as a human being, you are, well, your brain is anyway, a hybrid of reptile, mammal, and your true angelic potential creator. So it's a hybrid, a trinity hybrid of the reptile, the mammal, and the true creator potential. My dear esteemed, most noble and honorable viewer, upgrade your mind frequency and functioning through constant detachment and discernment, and you will change your life. Along with constant detachment and discernment, I upgrade my life with instant coffee. Folgers and adequately heated. But for complete details of divine secrets, cosmic consciousness, and just how you can escape the hologram we live in, hit that subscribe button. No, smash that subscribe button. Leave this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment as to the glory of God, the creator God within, because it is a conscious process that requires constant effort. You must wake up in the morning with your hair on fire with the creative potential of a co-creator. You must persistently reprogram your neuronal pathways to utilize the full potential of your mind. Understand the blessing of contrast that is provided by low vibrational manifestations, dark thoughts, negative emotions, dwelling on past issues, and those of love. Understand the contrast between the two. Holding the difference between holding a baby otter, a tiny baby squeaking otter in your hands versus reliving some low vibrational negative emotion experience, dark thoughts dwelling on versus holding a baby otter. We are constantly kept in this reptilian, low vibrational, third dimensional duality by opposing religions, nations, genders, opinions, beliefs. By, in, by ignoring duality, it is my contention, my dear esteemed and most noble viewer, by ignoring duality and embracing diversity, you shall recover the high vibrational frequency in tune with your life's bliss, your life's purpose. So, nothing is bad unless you believe it is bad your mind is all there's no wrong unless you decide it is wrong you can be all flustered about these midterm elections in the usa and oh my god oh oh oh, oh you know blah 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 but or you can hit that subscribe button and you can be an elevated you can be an elevated entity because I'm here to tell you, most honorable and esteemed and noble 
viewer, your mind is a sophisticated broadcasting system. Well, at least mine is when I have my morning coffee, Folgers, and adequately heated, instant as well. We admit and absorb frequencies according to the frequencies, thoughts, and belief systems that we hold in our mind. Your mind is a sophisticated broadcasting system. And in, in, order, in order to reset our innate power of creation, we must get our mind right by cautiously applying discernment to every frequency, thought, or emotion that we emit and absorb. In other words, choosing to accept or reject frequencies is the first step in resetting your broadcast system, your mind. It is how we begin to attune ourselves to source energy, our higher self, our life's purpose, happiness, love, and our true potential as angelic co-creator beings on the golden age timeline of the new earth. If you agree, smash that subscribe button, leave this video a thumbs up, leave a wonderful comment, and stay tuned for further video offerings and information dissemination from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for compassion and strength and mind broadcasting and higher frequencies. Namaste. Namaste.